Good morning, everybody. We've got a big house slab we're doing today. The homeowner formed this slab himself. He's actually a builder, so he do, he does really know what he's doing, and he's done. We you know we've done a lot of concrete work for him over the years, so he's seen the slabs that we've done. He did a really nice job. He used two by ten, and then he just, you know, everything's flat. He put two inches of styrofoam in, two inch styrofoam up the edges. So we got about a seven and a half inch thick floor we're pouring. We did one earlier. I'll, I'll link a video to that to show you the other one we did. This is actually a different guy, but they do work together. So it's got radiant heat net wires, the radiant side to the wire. And we're just pouring a really thick slab for a house. They're gonna end up taking that house down. I don't know what they'll do with the slab over there, but and then uh, this is gonna be his main house. So we got 42 yards coming today. This thing is right around 41, so hopefully we got plenty of concrete. We can get this done. Give it time. I know, thoroughly. <laughs> David, yeah. Good morning. Yeah, <laughs> on time. These guys said. <laughs> you don't need a new GPS. Pull your head. Blame it on you. You're like, oh, you don't need that bag. Oh, you put a bag in. Wow, it was two hours getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Blame it on you. Blame it on you. Blame it on you. Blame it on you. Hey Luke, did you grab the gray stick just to check to see where we're at? Swimming in the ocean in the dock? A little bit. It's a lot of seaweed. Seaweed? Nah, the density too. The gray is usually a little cheaper than the blue. Don't distract him, Brian. That box is right on. Got enough there, I'll pull them ahead. If not, get a little bit more there. Yep. 
his first truck down. Ten, ten and a half yards right there. Didn't look like it went too far. But good thing we got four of those. Ready when you are. That loop. Yep. A little bit more. Got it tied down, just didn't tie it close enough. Check that with the laser. Almost out.
Thank you, Brian. Thank you, thank you. Have a great day and weekend. You too. It's gonna be a hot one. Yeah. Pipe behind you, Derek. I think so. Yeah. Right. I think we'll do one right across and then down. Might as well just get rid of that shoot, huh? We can. Plus the slump's good enough, we can just move it. Pretty close. I think I can just pull a little bit here if you want to go that way. Humid. No, not yet. Yeah. Nah, he's going all right, I think. That way. I'll get this. Stepping on that pipe right now. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, right here, yeah. Can you run it in there? Yeah. Unlock it. Yeah, gotcha. Did he get the battery? I think he did, yeah. I didn't want to say it went <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Thank you. That was really helpful. Yeah. for now. Huh? That's enough for now. You may have to slide that because he's putting a two by well, six on. I was yeah, I think he wants it in the wall to come in up the in between the studs. Okay. So maybe two inches more that way. Yeah. It's so far. So there's three trucks. That fourth truck's gonna finish it. We don't have to worry about running out. So we got plenty of mud on a Friday. So we definitely don't want to run out on a Friday. About an hour away from the concrete plant, and we know he wouldn't have any balance trucks here for us. So we go. It's gonna be a good day. How's Chris today? Is this that same truck? No, Joe actually had had the one I was Joe had that one today. With. I actually got this one back finally. This so this was your other one you had before? Yeah. Joe was driving the truck and got that he didn't doesn't want to go up a hill. Yeah, he was worried. He told me he saw this thing and uh it'll go up. Watch out, Luke. No kid. Yeah, like he acted like we were so insensitive. Almost. Wow. Oh. 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 Should have seen his eyes light up and fuck asshole. What? I gotta work with him all day. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs>
You want to do what to me? Now that that's done, now we got to go around, sink some anchor bolts in. About every four feet. He didn't really, you know, there was no real plan on it. He just, once the bolt is per sill plate down, pretty common for the builders around here. So <clears throat> we'll go start over there with that first truck. We just sink them down in. They're just six inch anchor bolts, just enough to fasten that sill plate. That usually works pretty good for these guys. If they want to do something else, they'll use some other type of fastener. Now he's got a two by six still, so and he's gonna overhang that to the edge of the styrofoam. So that's two inches. Two by six is about five and a half inches, so you know, two by six will run about like that from here to there so we only stick the anchor bolts we stick them pretty close to the styrofoam leave them sticking up about like that 